Hello everybody, my name is Merc, and today I'm playing more Elden Ring. It's been a hot minute since I played this last. I was just going to go buy some arrows at this merchant, um, but it appears that there's something else going on at this location. I uh, teleported over here, and I can't seem to teleport away, nor can I talk to this merchant. Just double check that that is the case. Yes, he is asleep, perhaps for the night, or perhaps because there's a... Uh, another character over here that we've not met before she called me over i believe she just beckoned me as a tarnished uh but i have not spoken to her yet so let's do so a pleasure to meet thee tarnished i am the witch rena i'd heard tell of a tarnished hurtling about atop a spectral steed and upon looking into the matter the talk i surmise is of thee thou art possessed of the power no to call forth a spectral steed named Torrent. There's no reason to necessarily lie about this, I guess. I'm sure plenty of other people have seen me ride around on my steed. As I hoped, I was entrusted this for thee by Torrent's former master. Spirit Calling Bell. I notice she has four arms. Lone Wolf Ashes. The bell of calling forth Oh. Summon them with it. From ash and return to the earth tree. Unreturned. The spirits will obey thine command but briefly. As they recall battles past. Now it is thine. To do with as thou wishest. Okay. That is a, a good item to get. I didn't expect it to come from her. Um, one thing I'm noticing, and you may notice here as well. She's got two faces. Uh, it appears her right eye is closed and uh the two faces seem to share that eye and she also has a second set of hair you can kind of see it's a uh, ethereal uh she also has a crack in her face and a crack in her arms and also let's get a better angle of this sorry lady i'm just gonna walk up to you and look at you with a telescope she's got some ropes coming out of her hands here so is she also like a porcelain doll reminiscent of Bloodborne? Who knows? Let's read what that bell has to say in its description. Assuming I find it. Surely it's at the top here somewhere. Am I blind? So we got another ash. We got the lone wolf ash. Just summon three lone wolf. Well, are they really lone wolves if there's three of them? Spirits of wolves chased from their pack. They later encountered a nameless tarnished who welcomed them as hunting companions. The wolf spirits overwhelm enemies with their agility, aiding the summoner in combat. Um, still did not find that item. I wonder if it's just, uh, yeah, it's just a key item, so we don't necessarily need to use it. We just use the ashes instead, maybe. A bell capable of summoning various spirits from ashen remains usually requires FP. Spirits can only be summoned in the vicinity of a rebirth monument. When summoning is possible, the monument icon will be visible on the left side of the screen. Only one type of spirit may be summoned at once, and none may be summoned during multiplayer. So it's exclusively a single-player item. Let's talk to Ronnie again. Ranny? I don't know her name. I doubt we shall again meet. But all the same, learn well the lands between. How long will it be, I wonder, before the tarnished tire of obeisance to the two fingers? And she's gone. Okay. Uh, not quite sure what I was expecting with that message either. And this NPC has woken up. So we can go talk to him briefly. Ah, it's you again. Always a pleasure. Care to purchase anything? Yes, in fact. Uh, so I was just going to purchase some arrows from this man. That's the reason why I came back here in the first place. Let's buy another uh, 37. So we have 40 total. Nice to do business. Um, I was going to have a look at what we could upgrade as well. Just the sort bow and the torch. Um, 
we could upgrade some of these other weapons we have. In fact, I already did, uh, now that I remember it. Uh, so I upgraded the Battle Hammer to plus two, in addition to the Rusted Anchor to plus two. We can upgrade one more. Just want to have a quick look at their stats. It's about 225-ish. It's also about 225-ish. Um... Let's go with, with the Rusted Anchor, even though we've not really been using it, mostly because we got it recently. Armament cannot be strengthened any further at the smithing table. Okay. That's unfortunate, but I guess it is what it is. We have to go back to round table to upgrade it once more. We might have the capability of doing that already with our smithing stone twos. And then we need five more smithing stones to upgrade the battle hammer as well. Um, let's quickly pull it out. Just have a look at what our damage is. Sorry. 272 with this great axe. And... Got, might be a better way of looking at that. 225 on the dot for the rusted anchor. Is that what it's called? Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, let's just use that a little bit just for the fun. I gotta figure out how to use... Sorry, I was just looking at the little icon to the left of the picture. I don't know if that represents the skill. Um, let me see. Yeah, so maybe it means that you can put a skill onto it because I noticed that this Reduvia does not have that same little portrait because you cannot change the skill of that weapon. Okay. Uh, thanks for bearing with me. I just kind of wanted to see what was going on with some of these things. We are going to use this. Maybe we should uh, see what kind of skills we can put onto it as well with the Ashes of War. So this turns into magic or quality. This will increase the damage slightly. Remove these Ashes of War from the Heavy Great Axe. Okay, so unfortunately you can only have the, the stamp sweep on one weapon at a time, at a time, as I surmised earlier. Um, I might have to go and make another copy of those ashes at the blacksmith, but for now, I think we're going to just uh, continue onwards and uh, explore some more of the Weeping Peninsula, because we're not quite done in this area. I uh, marked off where the merchants were. We totally explored this west side. So let's go back to the Castle Morn Rampart. And uh, let's see if we can climb that mountain in the middle. There is one mountain and uh, a site of grace we have not gone to yet. So rather than um, going through this uh, rampart, I guess, to the fort up ahead with a giant archer, we will go this way. That said, I also want to figure out how to use these ashes. What the heck did I do? Oh, uh, you can press right bumper and left bumper to switch your quick items, I guess. Which, you switch what quick item you're looking at. Okay, so you can just equip them onto your quick item bar. Uh, I kind of want to just see what happens when we summon them all. Like I said, it's been a little bit since I played last. So I'm, uh... Might have been a full week, to be honest. That sounds about right. Uh, let's see. Why can I not some? Oh, because you have to be in special areas, I guess. Okay, so we'll deal with that at another location. Um, we'll just leave that on our quick bar for now. And head up towards this little path here. It's not necessarily a path, but it is uh, a way to go. Doesn't look like there's anything going on over here. Actually, there is a path, maybe. Maybe. Uh, just stroll through and see what we can see at the top of these, uh, top of this wall here. We see the giant. We can see the giant. Get a look at him. Uh, it actually looks very similar to the giant that we slayed at the end of the last video. Uh, I don't remember the name of that area. I just jumped off. I should have expected that one. Uh, let me see. Let's pull up the map. You may recall it was all the way the heck up here. The Divine Bridge. Uh, 
think it's the capital city, but I can't remember the name of it. I did not want to be on this side of the wall. <laughs> and now we're over here. Can I, can I uh, Skyrim my way up these walls? Doesn't really look like it. Uh, I'm just a little worried of going this way because, as I mentioned, there was that giant over there. We still got a bunch of bats. So I guess because we fell this way, we're going to continue onwards. <laughs> just for the moment. That rusted anchor seemed to do enough work against the bats there. Some more ruined fragments. Death. Deathbird? Um, um, I did not expect a boss to be here. What the heck is this? A deathbird, of course. This thing looks straight out of Bloodborne as well. Okay, that is a new type of status we have not encountered yet. Let's quickly switch to the Great Axe. We're definitely going to need it, and it didn't seem like the piercing attack was doing too much there. It's got quite a face going on there. I ran right into that piercing attack. This seems to be working okay. I don't know if I'm two-handing this bad boy. So I'm going to jump off the horse real quick. I am not two-handing it. Jump back on the horse. Oh, that was bad dodging. Bad dodging. Okay, so the horse, I feel like, is not actually helping all that much. It is kind of. Just just not enough. Didn't mean to double jump there. I think I'm going to get off the horse. That was probably the bad time to do that. Maybe don't jump off the horse into the boss's face. Just tried to peck me. I think it might take more damage on its face. It is really trying to peck me to death. I can't believe I missed that. And somehow that didn't do any damage at all. It just knocked me down. Well then. Did not expect a death bird. I don't even know where it came from. I just saw the HP bar. <gasps> a new axe. Holy crap. I just upgraded other weapons. We got a new axe already. What the heck is this? And it's all because I fell down this... Fell down into this area. All right, let's have a look at this axe. It is a, a smaller axe. Not a great axe. A little less intrigued now, but still we have to have a look. It has wild strikes as its ability. Hatchet used in, in an ancient sacrificial rite. A death bird is depicted... As a malevolent deity, the power of the right yet lingers. A small amount of FP is just, is restored upon slaying a foe. So that is a unique axe for sure. Oops, definitely did not mean to do that. Um, so yeah, it has the same moveset as our initial battle axe. But it restores FP on kill. Yes. Well, that is... Um, an interesting weapon for sure. If we got it earlier, I would have uh, leveled that bad boy up. But because we're already so committed to our great axe, I don't see us using it. And we're not really using FP as is. So the reason why I came over here in the first place, or rather, the reason why I decided to come over here rather than climb back up the rampart, the rampart walls. I could have sworn I saw a golden branch somewhere in this location. I think I even marked down. And I did. But I don't know if I was just seeing things because I believe I saw it while I was trying to get the map. And this giant archer started shooting us. Oh, those are some big arrows on its back. Uh, not to mention the giant bow that it goes with it. Um, so maybe I was just seeing things. Just sworn I saw an Erd tree branch though. So we'll give it another once more. A look over. We'll look over on this overlook. But maybe oh no. I was gonna say maybe I was just seeing things. I feel like though, the moment I jump down here, that giant's gonna see us. But 
this is the reason why I decided to continue exploring this area, so here we go. Giant has not started shooting. Let's see what these messages say. Apple didn't ring. Joy ahead. A golden seed. That's right. The last time we saw a branch, we also got a golden seed. That was back at uh, Kalid. Seed ahead. All right. Well, I guess it made this uh, accidental expedition over here a little more worth our effort. So at this point, we're going to go back, use that seed on the bonfire, and then continue with our previous plan of exploring this mountain right here. Oh, I was in battle for a moment there. <laughs> uh, which, I don't even remember what it does. Use the sacred tear? No, we have the a golden seed. Use one golden seed to increase your number of flask use. That's good. So now we got six. We need to remember that we have the bell to summon ashes now. Probably not going to be that imperative, but it will be fun to use a little bit for sure. I don't know how much we're going to use it. I am going to check these walls again because I didn't actually check up here. I kind of doubt we can get into that tower. And same for this tower. So we continue onwards through the woods. Heard something screaming. Doesn't look like there's anything over here. Get ourselves an elk. And we also have uh, what appears to be a building. Madness. Yellow ember. We've never seen that before. <coughs> Excuse me. Be wary of rat. Okay. Let us open our inventory. It seems like we're safe as long as we don't step forward. I do hear noises. Yellow ember found in lands afflicted by frenzy. An ember taken from the eye socket of a corpse. A sign that the deceased suffered with from the flame of frenzy. This grape has ripened and burst. I wonder if that was the effect that the, the death bird was trying to apply to us. Be wary of rat. I mean, I do hear lots of squeaking. Lots of squeaking. So, are these special rats? Surely they're special rats. Golden rune. I don't hear any more squeaking. Oh, I hear a little bit, actually. Let's get off the horse. More yellow ember. I'm guessing from the socket of that, the eye socket of that man. And some more smoldering butterflies. Be wary of liar. You're saying that's not a secret wall. <laughs> Why is it always confusion? Yeah, I definitely hear more rats. There it is. Sorry, but I don't want to find out what madness does. What frenzy does. Um, Eye of Yelau? Yalof? Probably another material. Eye of Yalof. That's what I'm going to pronounce it as. Grown in lands afflicted by frenzy. A shrub fruit bursting with ripened pulp. Grown in lands afflicted by frenzy is used for its pain relieving properties, though it's no also known to be a dangerous intoxicant. It's usually how that goes. Um. I'm curious as to what we'll be able to make with those. Destroy that box for no reason. It looked at me funny, okay? See some wildlife in the distance. Nothing really going on beyond... Be ...behind this hut. Day is returning. I do, uh, theorize that that Ronnie witch... 
And again, I don't know if that's actually how you pronounce her name. Um, immediately forgot it. I just should have mentioned, or should have said it aloud. Um, so yeah, we've already explored over there. You can see the strange sort, the bat creature on the other side of the ridge. No tree ahead. I guess it, <laughs> the message is saying, yeah, you can't cross to the tree this way. But we're not going to the tree. We've already been over there. Um, I don't know if I finished my train of thought with that witch. I believe she probably comes at nighttime only. Which would explain why we haven't seen her prior. And then when I randomly decide to come back and look for uh, arrows, she was there. What is going on with this? Oh, it's yellow ember. Why is it always something incredible? I mean, I don't know if I'll go that far. Maybe if we find some uh, crafting books that make use of it. So we have explored this house. We can jump on top of it. Got a message up here. And that's about it. Uh, I am seeing acquired materials, but I feel like they're just mushrooms or berries. Just want to check the map real quick. Okay, so this is the cliff. There's not much to see to our right. Continue circling around this cliff top for now. Did see some root resin as well as this man by a fire. You really want to you really want something? Oh, okay. He was looking to start something. Root resin. Oh, I guess I looted that from this uh, root rather than from the man. I assumed I was looting from the man. I don't really want to find out what that man was trying to do, but also at the same time, what was that man trying to do? He, like, grabbed his face, wincing in pain almost. Could you just have gone up here? I feel like I tried to come up this way. And it, uh, wasn't happening. It doesn't really look like, unless you get a triple jump later on the horse. Okay, don't fall this time. We did get a Trina's Lily for our curiosity. Head back up. So there were some ruins at the top of this... ...mountain here. Oh, uh, we have the symbol on our left that allows us to summon things. I don't know how much we'll be using the summoning bell uh, practically later. I do understand that you have to upgrade your ashes for them to be very useful. Um, but we'll probably start right now. The Wandering Noble Ashes. Let's see what kind of damage these fools can do. We got five HP bars. So these are wandering nobles, eh? Got uh, three men with S stocks and two men with torches. Do they follow me? Not really. We're in the ailing village, so I assume there's going to be a lot of frenzy going on here. I'm also assuming that these men are going to follow me. I don't know if I want to <laughs> let them do their thing. It seems like they are doing their thing. Okay, no, they're not. <laughs> this man is in quite the pose. He looks rather distressed. Okay. Well, we figured out what they're doing, what they do. They seem to explode out of their face. They seem to be, um, you know, doing some work. Not going to say they're particularly useful, but I guess they are drawing aggro. Bunch of rats in here, including a big one. The Kalu Baptismal Church. Yeah, yeah, you guys get in there. I'll, uh, I'll scout around. What's up here? More rats. 
looks like some gold-tinged excrement to our left as well, and maybe some arteria blades. I was gonna say, are you one of my soldiers? Do you spawn behind me or something? I feel like they probably spawn off-screen if you get too far away from them. I did call out that gold-tinged excrement. Oh, it lived. Okay, it did not give us a... a status effect when it bit us. That's good to know. Bunch of arteria leaves. Which is surprising, because those are supposed to be pretty rare. I'm assuming my men are doing some work, although I have a feeling they're probably not. They're probably just chasing me down. Does appear to be a good item in here. I imagine if it's like the other churches, it'll upgrade our potions. Be sure to loot all these embers. We don't know. Next time we're going to come to an area, we can loot more. I'm sure there will be more. Let's go in here now, finally. Seems like the rat population has uh, decreased significantly. I knew I saw something glowing here. It was a skull. Okay, I don't like that these guys are <laughs> body blocking me. The Flame of Frenzy. That's a spell. Um, these men are surely going to attack this rat. Uh, and by surely, I mean not necessarily. I was looking to see if we can make more bone darts. We cannot. We need more beast bones. <laughs> I like how they react scared. Like, oh no, it turned at us. Okay, rather than having you all... Take away slowly at the, these rats. I will join the fray as well. I'm glad they cannot hurt us. That would make this uh, a lot more complicated. I guess they're just like co-op phantoms. Uh, if you don't want to play co-op, they are an option. And honestly, I kind of like the idea. Even if I'm not certain I'll be using them that often. Um, you may remember... Oh, they disappeared. You may remember I was hesitant to even use uh, the NPC cooperator on a boss at the start of the game. I very much enjoy playing these games in my first playthrough as solo as possible. So I might keep that up, but like I said, I want to see what these ashes do. So it'll probably be a little bit of a mix. Thought I saw an ash and it was just this ghost rolling. Excuse me, I need to take a drink. was indeed another sacred tear. Um, really should uh, see if there's a, how much difference there is in the text between the sacred tear and the golden seed. But I used my golden seed, so we can't necessarily do that. I will look at them real quick. Right, it was just... Uh, Mentioning of the Erd tree, I'm sure the seed is similar in that regards. Another golden rune here. Let's summon um, a new type of enemy here. Let's summon the demi-human ashes. We cannot actually. We don't have that much FP. So it looks like we're summoning a noble. How many? F how much FP do we even have? Sixty-five total. Okay. Well, I guess that limits uh, the number of creatures we can summon. Uh, so we'll just summon this noble sorcerer instead. Oh, we cannot. Oh yes, we did get a spell. That's right. I'll check that out real quick. Uh, it was this one. Amidst, oops. Amidst a burst of yellow flame of frenzy from eyes requires 16 faith. Incantation originating from the maddening three fingers. Causes the yellow flame of frenzy to burst forth from the caster's eyes. Charging increases the range. The flame of frenzy deals damage and causes buildup of madness. This can incantation also causes buildup of madness in the caster and is only effective against tarnished. So that seems to be a PvP exclusive spell, I guess. If it doesn't really affect anything but other tarnished. 
the poses that these men are in really does suggest that they're almost writhing in pain except for the whole writhing part <laughs> it does seem like they are ready to cast uh, whatever spell we just got I already don't remember it <laughs> my apologies the flame of frenzy maybe I'm incorrect in that I don't want to get touched a little bit just to see the meter Maybe when there's one left. I'll test that out. This seems to be a new type of plant. Oh, there's another Eye of Yalof. Okay, so we should be uh, on the lookout for red shrubbery. We have already explored this bridge. There is should be a spirit or um, site of grace here that we discovered earlier while we were... Uh, on the lookout, I guess it was over here. Yeah, it was that tower in the distance. Did we... I'm trying to see what's going on. Okay, so that's the other continent. The other half, the other side of the peninsula. Where all the demi-humans were. Oh, we got a rat patrolling in the distance. Seems to be uh, mad as the rest of the creatures in this area. Or maybe it's not. It doesn't have glowing eyes. So maybe it's just very confused. Here is the site of grace we found. We'll touch it for sure. What's going on along the cliff side? Doesn't appear to be too much. We'll jump on the horse real quick and scout out the area. Those appear to be different creatures than we've seen before. So immediately get off the horse. Oh, okay, no, we have seen these before. I don't know why, but in the distance. They look different. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. I guess they are, uh... Rather, uh, disfigured. <laughs> when, even when they look normally. These are uh, some interesting creatures. I believe they're called Misbegotten. At least that's was the title of uh, the boss we killed. They appear to all have bows. No sleeping for you. And no flying for you. We did hit it out of its flight. And that took care of that. Rather simple encounter there. It does help that I uh, one-shot everything with this great axe for sure. Does make the game uh, a little bit easier. You have to do less dodging. Less figuring out of patterns if everything just dies in one hit. And we're back behind the church. Okay, so now it's time to go back in, explore these buildings properly. I don't. Did we kill this rat? We must have. Bunch of free golden runes. Yeah, okay, the, the rat's eyes were glowing. Just wasn't sure. Yeah, I thought that's that was not the rat we saw earlier. This was. Okay. Now we're back inside the town center. Time to dismount and see what we can see here. The Flame Crest Wooden Shield. A tall, medium sized wooden shield. A light forge size and easy to handle, carried by soldiers of the village that is afflicted by. afflicted by frenzy. 
The yellow flame is the symbol of the affliction, serving as a warning to those who might approach the village. That doesn't... That doesn't add up in my head. So, this village was afflicted by frenzy. And in that frenzy, some men started painting their shields uh, with a flame crest. And then it's to warn other people, like, don't come here. Like, the, that, that lore doesn't add up to me in my head. Because usually, or, you know, how I'd expect this to go is this city, or this village. Keep trying to call it a city. This village got afflicted by frenzy, and then it was declared, you know, hostile, and no one wanted to go there anymore. But instead, these people have enough brains to... Design a shield around it? I don't know. That's all that's all I'm saying. A weathered straight sword. Injustice ahead. I kinda wanna get hit by this guy. Not with this attack though. Do your eyeball explosion. Your flames of frenzy. No? Come on. There we go. Okay, so that is Frenzy. It's a, a yellow eyeball. I wonder what that does if that bar gets full. Hopefully, we will not find out. Uh, so actually, it doesn't look like there's a whole lot more to explore in this town. This town of Frenzy. The ailing village. Look carefully, Grace ahead. Oh, it's pointing to that Grace location we saw. Jeez, this really is uh, all there is to it with this area, eh? Let's have a look at that straight sword. I believe, yeah, it is the first straight sword we've seen so far. Straight sword with a rather short but wide blade. Simple to wield, it was known as the sword of the people. Though the Erd tree styling is still visible, time has not been kind to the sword, now merely a shadow of its former self, and has a square off ability. Okay. Probably pretty standard. I kind of want to see the move sets, but I will do that on my own time. Um, a little disappointed that there wasn't a whole lot else up here, eh? The Kalu Baptismal Church, the Ailing Village. Uh, we can remove this marker now. And I guess we go back to. We can remove this marker as well. Well, I guess we go back to this location. Whoops, I just overrid the marker that we had there, which was a diamond signifying the nomadic merchant. I don't know how important it is to have that diamond there now, considering the patch made it so you can see all NPCs on the map. Let's see what this man has to sell. Just, he does have some smithing stones, as well as a smithing stone, too. They're, they're pretty cheap as well, so I think I'm going to buy them. Now they're running a little low on them. Could buy this hodgepodge armor set. I kind of want to see what the scale armor looks like. Probably should just level up, though. I wish I could see how good this is versus my armor. We're going to buy this. And then try out the fashion souls real quick. Scale armor. Slightly better in strike and slash. It also gives us more vitality. Not quite sure what that means. It gives us quite a bit more vitality. How do I... That there is a way. There is a way, but I didn't figure it out. I kind of like this. Um, let's go to... Status. I really would wish, or I really wish there was a, a way to see exactly what these stats do. So I've, vitality is a resistance. Not sure what those numbers mean in the bottom right corner. But we got more of it. Continue onwards a little bit more. Maybe we'll find another site of grace somewhere. Doesn't seem like we can... 
get access up there from over here and I think we won't be able to if we jump up to Spirit Spring either. It seems like it's probably too big of a fall to go up and around that way so I guess we're gonna go through and try to find a path along along the edge here and hopefully not get shot by this giant archer in the process. More ruin fragments. Oh, that uh, giant arrow is just kind of stuck right there. Floating on nothing. Or maybe it destroyed something. I heard him launch another one. Lease another one? Why is that the word that's coming to my head? Is it leasing an arrow? That doesn't sound right. There's definitely a term for it. We did find our way up here. Doesn't look like there's a whole lot going on. Just some skulls to loot. Okay. I still can't believe there was like a whatever that death bird creature on the other side of uh the rampart. It was just so sudden, unexpected. This man is hacking away this corpse. We'll creep on up. First off, stealth. I had a feeling this man was going to be stronger than the others. Oh, it's because it's the boss version of him. The scaly misbegotten. The smithing stone. Nice secret. All that for a smithing stone, it's fine. We do technically could use some more. I'm gonna say, can we look in there? Of course, it's a window to nothing. I kinda doubt there's gonna be another uh, sight of grace up ahead. There is a bear in the distance. Do we want to mess with a bear? No, but yes. You know the answers already. Oh. It sees me. I feel like I've heard that noise before. Uh-oh. Don't get mauled. Okay, yeah, it's big. It's trying to scare me off. Listen. I already killed a rune bear. I'm not too worried about you, friend. Okay, maybe I should be a little more worried. Apologies. Lump of flesh, hefty beast bone. Alright. Well, we didn't need to do that, but we did it. Sated my curiosity. I do hear more arrows in the distance being fired. I don't know how safe we'll be in these woods. I'm assuming as long as we're moving decently fast on the horse we'll be okay. Well, that's a sad way to go. The music changed out of the battle music, so maybe we, uh... Are not being targeted by the archer anymore. At least for the moment. Thought I heard the twinkling of a, a scarab. And I do. Some excrement there too. We'll go back and get that. Poison mist. What does this message say? Try stealth. Read up on the poison mist. Um, is another incantation requires 12 faith incantation of the servants of rot releases a poisonous mist before the caster incantation can be cast while in motion those who dwell within poison know rot all too well the death that begets life that comes to all equally that is to say it is the cycle of rebirth put into practice okay pretty standard I would say 
I'm getting shot at once again. There is a, a poison swamp up ahead as well. Doesn't look like there's anything else over here. It was just that scarab, maybe. Because I believe we checked out... Oh, no, we checked out the other ruin. Though I'm sure this ruin will have no surprises for us. Just a bunch of ruined fragments, I'm sure. But you got to check. All right. I checked. <laughs> so, we did learn that the horse appears to be immune to poison. At least standard poison. Try horseback battle and then no poison ahead. It's a good message. Nice and descriptive. Tells you exactly what you need to know. So we are indeed in the poison now. Fighting some zombies. We also got a poisonous sludge right here. I wonder if I should maybe take out the torch for this encounter. Man holding his head like he had a headache. Lots of poisonous sludge. Okay, so before we go into that pile of many monsters of goo. I don't know if I'm two-handing this or not. I like we can't even hit him. I did think about upgrading the torch. Hmm. Chug up real quick. Might be for the best to go back to the axe. Even if it either way is going to take a lot of swings to take out these sludges. Might not be worth the effort. We've got a glass shard. We have encountered those before. So it might not be worth the effort at all to kill those. The zombies, they can die again. What's going on in here? In the pile of poisonous sludges. Didn't look like there was much. More crucified victims up top. There's an item up there, actually. Pick up item. Golden Rune 4. Precious item. Not quite sure I agree with that. That archer is shooting us, but for some reason his arrows keep getting blocked. Watch this one not get blocked. I called it! I knew that arrow was coming right for us. I don't really want to swing on this thing for 20 minutes. Let's do another lap of this swamp. See if we missed anything. Arrow hit a rock. <laughs> Probably just exploded some uh, poison on us. Or rather around it. Not the most engaging of battles. It's basically every battle, <laughs> unless it's a boss. I just ride up to it. Oh. Oh, hello. Didn't expect to see one of you here. We're gonna drop anything interesting or just some crab eggs? Just some crab eggs. Be wary of crab. Good message. Not good enough for me to stop and raid it. What the heck happened to that? Oh, he's right here. Thought he fell into the rock or something. I don't know if we're out of range for this archer urge. He's just not, uh... Aiming high enough. We do seem to be safe over here, though. Which is kind of my main concern in coming this path, anyway. Is there really nothing over here? I was going to say, I knew I injured one of these. It's okay. Torrent is fine. Tanking these sludges. These slimes. <laughs> 
Well, I did say I didn't want to spend 20 minutes attacking these slimes, but here I am. Attacking these slimes. Don't worry, there's only there's only four more to kill. Thankfully them grouping up makes it slightly easier. Not even getting a huge amount of souls. This does feel like a big ol' waste of time. Jeez. I don't know where that Zambo came from. But he's just walking into my blade. That's a unique attack. Probably shouldn't get hit by any parasite looking attacks considering there is a precedent for that in Dark Souls 1. You can get yourself uh, parasitized. Is that a verb? Uh -oh. uh, this archer is aiming right for us. Okay, that was the closest he got to shooting us this whole time. So, with that in mind, maybe we go down to this beach. And not this way. Looked like there was a big old pit of death, also known as the ocean, over there. Okay, so, got some red jellyfish. They appear to attack together, at least they did in other encounters with them so far. I'm surprised they didn't try to do any of their weird blood attacks, blood-tinged attacks. He cannot shoot us from over here. I just want to double-check that fact. I don't want to get shot while we're looting. Okay, we're safe. Somber Smithing Stone 2. An Arteria Leaf. And nothing else. Not the most interesting of locations. Go along the beach. Doesn't look like there's anything else. Just destroyed the tree. For a second, it looked like he had like a ghillie suit on. Oh, we have another uh, sword graveyard here. I don't know what else to call it. Can it shoot us up here? Not really. Doesn't seem like it anyway. And we got a dog up ahead. Likely dog. All right, that's a good diversion from the other nonsense we've been dealing with. Appears to be another beach behind the castle that we cannot access from over here. Oh, we got a lily. What do these messages say? Item ahead. Definitely no precious item, but there was an item. More Roa fruit. We are getting very close to this giant now. Does appear to be quite aware of our presence. I don't know if we want to step into this area, but we are. The Siege of Castle Morn, a lone hero, fights for his vengeance only to fall at the hand of Lord Godfrey. A lone hero fights for his vengeance. So I wonder if Lord Godfrey is the current owner of the Castle Morn. It turned at night time, so these bats spawned on us. We are taking them out in one shot, even with a one-hand axe, so that feels pretty good. It might be time to take on this giant now. Whew, that one was pretty close too. Hopefully there's no one guarding his feet. Uh-oh. Yeah, had a feeling that one was happening. Oh, he's already hurt. Why is it already hurt? This does appear to be the same type of giant that we saw at the capital. Oh, I'm so sorry for this. That was just... 
That was just a slaughter. I'm not that sorry in hindsight. A smithing stone. We did get an item from that one as well. Uh, we, I asked a friend about that item that we missed at the end of the last video. He uh, seems to think it was probably not important to find more of those dudes, is what he told me. So we'll probably have more opportunity to loot them in the future. So I'm not going to worry too much about it. We have a red scarab there along the beach. We haven't checked out this beach. Uh, we did kind of come over here when we fought the death bird. So I'm not going to have to, not going to check up uh, along the rocky outcroppings over there. Because I think we already have. It appears to be a dog along the beach. Let's take out the scarab. We don't even need the, the flask. But it'll stop the twinkling, which will make me feel a little more sane for a moment. Dog is not the most happy to see us. And it is nighttime. So the howls are back. <laughs> I'm like buffering these attacks. There we go. Probably should have taken out that scarab. After we took out the dogs. All that for a golden rune. These people are not having a good time. There's no dogs here. Oh wait, I guess there were some dogs here. Just not anymore. Alright. It appears we're done on this beach. Doesn't look like there's anything along the coast. So it is time to approach the castle. Fort Morn. I don't know what that was. Some creature must have died by accident and we absorbed its runes. Time for hope. Likely Sniper. Yeah, I guess if you come along this beach path, you can end up behind the giant archer. Make it a little more easier to deal with, but it wasn't too bad. Either way, seek night. So I wonder if that means you probably want to be here at night. Behold the bird, it's true. There's a bird on this uh, moving platform. I'm assuming it's a little sniper spot. Again, we see this uh, blue magic along the ground. Behold Fort Knight. I get it now. Seek Knight. Uh, it took me a second. I really want to see this message, apparently. Seek message. All right, you got me. We have found, found ourselves at a site of grace. I think we're going to call this a video. Let's see what's in this room to the left before we do that. Just slowly walking through, you never know when there's going to be traps. Seems we're okay right now. No item ahead. Yes, of course, it's just going to be a an armory. Got some uh, guns looking here. Some guns looking. Some, uh, you know, dragon-headed cannons, I guess. They look pretty intricately designed. And indeed, there was no items in here, just an armory for the soldiers. Alright, well, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to touch this side of grace. I might call this uh, the end of this session. I had a pretty big day today, so I only recorded this one, or I'm only going to record this one video for now, and hopefully record more tomorrow. It does appear that there's an elevator right away. Who knows if we're going up or down. I guess we'll find out at the start of the next episode. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I very much appreciate it. Click the like button if you haven't. And I'll see you for the next one. Bye-bye.